all praises belong to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the most beneficent, the most gracious the topic of our today's khutbah is reflection on the ni'mah of livelihood that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala provides for his servants and the need for us to encourage one another in feeding those who are in need all praises belong to Allah the most high salutations be upon his messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam O you Muslims Allah the Most High has mentioned some of the ni'mah he bestowed on us that he covered us with so many blessings and bounties and favors that we wouldn't be able to enumerate talk less of counting them. Allah the Most High says Allah has granted you and given you all that you requested from him therefore even if you think of enumerating the favors of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he bestows on you you wouldn't be able to do that. However Al-insan, meaning human being, is zalum, is wrongdoer, he always wrongs himself and he denies the ni'mah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Part of the great ni'mah of Allah the Most High that uh, attract, that should attract gratitude from us as his servants that Allah the Most High made it easy for us, made it abundant for us, our livelihood through sending down rainfall and also making or providing for us uh, uh, food and drink and other means of uh, earning our living as a source of mercy and rahma from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. All you servants of Allah, Allah the most high made uh, food and drink as part of the necessities of life as they have positive role in building healthy body and also in building one's intellect. Human being, human body cannot play its fundamental role except you have eaten, you have drink what you are in need of. Therefore, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned even concerning the best creatures among his servants that his prophets and messengers, Allah the Most High confirmed that we did not create them with bodies devoid of eating and drinking. Meaning they eat, they drink and also they were not eternal. Meaning they will not remain forever. Therefore, prophets of Allah came and they have gone. And this indicates that no human being can remain without eating and drinking as part of the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah the Most High mentioned this name that he bestows on human being in general that he made the earth solid and he prepares it for our livelihood so that we should thank him. However, our thanks and gratitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is indeed insignificant. Allah the Most High said that we have indeed provided you, has established you on the earth and we made uh, your ways of livelihood abundant for you. However, very little is your gratitude. Allah the Most High, uh, the commentators of the glorious Quran say that Allah the Most High prepares the earth so that we be able to live, we excavate, we build, we farm and also all other things we need to do on the earth as a source of mercy for all of us he made it possible for us to transact businesses to travel from one place to another to build factories all in order to earn our livelihood he provided us with a plant with a tree that carry fruit for us to have food to eat and uh, drink he also provides in the earth minerals which we extract uh, in order to earn living and also to get our livelihood. All these are part of the ni'mas of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we should register gratitude to him after acknowledging those uh, blessings. In another verse Allah the Most High said, the earth will spread it and we place heavy mountains on it and then we also provided land uh, for you in order to earn your living on the earth and Allah the Most High provided all that we need in proportion, pro, proportionate to our needs and uh, in quantity. In another verse, Allah the Most High said that Allah the Most High is the one who made the earth for you, fertile land. So He says you should work on the earth and then eat from the bounties of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, either through farming or through businesses and so on, in order to earn your livelihood. Allah the Most High mentioned so many verses of this nature in the glorious Quran. In addition, Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam, knowing how important 
livelihood is, especially as it pertains uh, food and drink. He prayed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to enrich and to bless Makkah with abundance in terms of food and drink. Because food and drink are the fundamental needs of human beings, necessities of human beings, that you cannot be able even to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you are terribly hungry, you will even uh, get out of your senses until you find something eat, uh, uh, eat, and then you, when you come back to your senses, it is that time you will think of worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ibrahim alayhi salatu wa salam said, when Ibrahim alayhi salatu wa salam said to Allah the Most High, prayed, O oh Allah, make this city, meaning Mecca, a secure territory, and bless its inhabitants of uh, fruit, and all, those of them who believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and the last day. In addition, Ibrahim alayhi salatu wa salam prayed a special prayer for his family exclusively when he settled them at the location of the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, a barren land when there was nothing there, no plant, no drink, no food, nothing. Then he prayed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, O oh Allah, I settled part of my family in a valley that was dry at the location of your house. O oh Allah, I have done that in order to enable them to establish regular prayer. O oh Allah, make it possible so for, for some people to come and settle together with them. And in addition, Oh Allah, bless them with livelihood, meaning fruit, food, and drink. Perhaps they will be grateful unto you. Again, Allah the Most High made food as one of the great ni'mas of this world. That is why Allah the Most High commanded the Quraysh to establish sincere ibadah for him as reciprocation, in reciprocation, as a mark of gratitude to him because Allah provided them with food and drink and security. Allah says, فَلِعْبُدُوا رَبَّ هَذَا الْبَيْتِ Let them worship the Lord of this house. The Lord who أَطْعَمَهُمْ مِنْ جُوِنْ Who feed them from hunger وَأَمَنَهُمْ مِنْ خَوْفِ And He cure them from fear. So this means that uh, food is a great ni'mah that uh, uh, needs you, uh, that uh, calls for your uh, recognition of that ni'mah, thanking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and thinking of others who do not have so that you share with them, so that you make them happy, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will also be happy with you. In addition, the Prophet of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa telling us how important the ni'mah of livelihood is. He said, any one of you who wakes up in his house, secure, in security, without fearing any attack or anything of that nature. Number two, he wakes up healthy in his body. Number three, he has the meal of that day then it is as if Allah the Most High has given him the whole of this world. This means that these things mentioned in this hadith are great source of, sources of ni'mah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we need to acknowledge and register our gratitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. O you Muslim, you should take note that food and drinks are great ni'mah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because if they are not so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wouldn't have provided food and drink for the people of Jannah because they, they, they are the highest class of uh, servants of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in order to make them happy Allah the Most High prepares different types of uh, food, drink, fruit inside paradise this means that food in, is indeed a very important ni'mah which uh, uh, one has to recognize Allah the Most High prepares so many types of food and drinks in order to make the people of paradise uh, happy. Uh, there are so many verses uh, uh, that discuss this. So also, Allah the Most High made food and drink as a guarantee to Adam alayhi salatu wasalam in order to be comfortable inside paradise without feeling of uh, any challenge or any threat. He told Adam alayhi salatu wasalam, stay, live in paradise you and your wife and eat whatever you need in paradise it has been provided for you only that do not go near this tree that was one tree that was forbidden for Adam والسلام, to eat if you do so you will be among the wrong doers in another verse Allah the Most High 
confirm to Adam alayhi salatu wasalam that Satan was an open enemy to him. Therefore, let Satan not eject him from paradise. If he succeeded in doing that, certainly Adam will suffer. In the paradise, Allah guarantees him of food and drink. He will never feel hungry. He will never feel, be, be naked. He was ensured of clothes that he wear. So also, he will never feel thirsty and he will never feel heat. All these are provisions that Allah the Most High made for the people of paradise. So also people of Musa alayhi salatu wasalam, Allah guarantees them of food that they should enter into a city that have, they have been commanded to enter while they were prostrating themselves to Allah, asking for Allah's forgiveness. So Allah said they should eat in abundance whatever they made inside that uh, city. O oh, you Muslims, we should take note and understand that this great ni'mah, the people of hellfire do not deserve this, this, this great ni'mah. That's why Allah the Most High withdrew all forms of good drink, uh, eat food and drink from the image of hellfire. Rather, Allah the Most High changed it to another form of food that is a, a source of great punishment to them. In one verse of, of the Quran, Allah says, on that day, some faces uh, will be disgraced. They will be laboring in this world, suffering for nothing. That will not benefit him in, in them in the hereafter. And in the hereafter, they will be in fatigue. They will continue to be under everlasting punishment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And they will be made to enter a fire that is hamia, that is indeed extremely hot. Allah prepares it for them. So, they will drink, they will be given drink from spring that is extremely hot. That is, is extremely hot. That is their own food and uh, drink. They will not have any food except bitter and thorny tree that do not nourish and do not make person to be satisfied from hunger. So because food and drink are great ni'mah, Allah the Most High will draw it from the from his disobedient servants to tell you that yes, you should thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if you see yourself eating, drinking, and you should remember to extend that gesture to those of your brothers and sisters who do not uh, have. In another verse, Allah the Most High says, the people of hellfire will ask and will beg the people of, of, of paradise that uh, Pour down on us of the water that Allah has given you in paradise or any other thing that Allah blesses you with. Then the people of paradise will say, Allah has forbidden that from the kofar. You do not deserve that, therefore you will never uh, get it. So, all oh Muslims, we should remember and reflect that there are those Muslims, all oh human beings, who have everything at their disposal. They have the food, they have the drink, but they cannot eat, they cannot drink because of severe sickness or severe calamity that befalls them. So one should reflect on this. You should also reflect that there are some uh, people also, Muslims and the non-Muslims, who are healthy but they do not have what is the meal of that day. All this Allah's Most High made this in order for one to sit down and reflect and thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for uh, providing him with food and drink and uh, that is to encourage him in worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through the energy he got from uh, the food and drink he, uh, he has taken. Now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us more and more. Make food and drinks abundant in this our dear nation. May Allah solve our challenges, security, uh, political uh, challenges and all other challenges, economic challenges we are facing in this our dear nation. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive those of us who have uh, passed away, those of us who are still alive. May Allah increase us in Iman, righteous deeds, and may He accept it from us. Rabbana taqabal minna inna kantu samiul alim, wa tuba alayna maulana inna kantu abrahim, wa la hawla wa la quwata illa billahi al-alil abim. Allahumma salli ala muhammadin wa ala ala muhammad, kama sallayta ala ibrahim wa ala ala ibrahim inna kamilu majid. Allahumma barik ala muhammadin wa ala ala muhammad, kama barakta ala ibrahim. وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد اللهم إنا نسألك أن تدم علينا نعمك ظاهرة وباطنة اللهم إنا نعوذ بك من زوال نعمتك 
وتحول عافيتك وفجاءة نقمتك وجميع سقطك يا أرحم الراحمين